Okay, three, two, one. Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to an uh, update video here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And uh, yeah, we got something new added. Ooh, this one's exciting. Uh, because of the potential. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So, uh, I guess there's nothing much more to say other than to get into this, right? Right. So, hope you enjoy what you watch, hope you like what you see. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me how you, what you think. Helps out the channel immensely, and uh, yeah. Let's get into this. Okay, you're probably sitting there, wait, you didn't really describe what it is. Well, um, pulleys. They finally added pulleys to the game. And uh, they're definitely interesting. They're definitely interesting. So as you can see, I got a little mock-up demonstration here. I got a massive weight bar sitting there. Now uh, let's let's go over the actual uh, notes real quick. We have uh, what we have here is okay. Hold on, three, two, one. So for the notes, they added. I say rope pulley update. Say, so grab your block and tackle and start calculating your mechanical advantage. Rope pulleys are now in Stormworks. Rope pulleys work in a way you might intuitively expect. A pulley allows rope to pass through with equal tension on each side of the pulley. Pulling on one side of the pulley will pull the rope through the other side. You can create an array of pulleys to create mechanical advantage with a block and tackle style arrangement. Or just use pulleys to better design your cranes by separating your winch from the top of your gantry arm. Two blocks are provided, the U arrangement with the rope anchors on the same side and the L arrangement with the rope anchors at a right angle to each other. We've also reworked the preset vehicles a lot, so expect many improvements and new presets. We've also uh, added several fixes and improvements. Please see the notes for the full details. And here they are. New rope pulley block, new updated preset vehicles, we'll take a look at those. Decorated Sawyer basis with seasonal meshes. Train wheels slower in reverse. And they, uh, these are the fixes. Train wheels slower in reverse. Hide player option camera mode not working. Fix and optimize lights and hangar and offices and hangers. Electric valves not working if below 90% charge. I think I was getting hit with this on a creation. Uh, my controller editor logic gates descriptions not showing in hotbar and remove mega island 16 three floating trees not sure on this one i think mega island was is technically sawyer so no 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 mega island might have been sawyer but i think it also could have been donk because i think that was originally either way uh some floating extra trees they were taken care of so now that we've gone over that, what does that mean for this thing? Well, as you can see, I got a mock-up here, and this is the basics. Use a winch, feed the rope through, and it comes down and on. Now, however, here's the catch that I've noticed. It can be kind of slow, so the rope that's coming out of the winch will expand faster than the winch movement, especially when you have more pulleys. That's the thing. I've got a lot of pulleys here, so... So that it can take some time. But when you stop it, if you watch... Especially on this one up here... You can see the rope is getting fed through, and it is actually shrinking... The length. At least, you know, the graphical length. And it's feeding it through until and lowering it as it needs to. And eventually it will even out. Now to speed up the process, I found that putting weights on the edge or some sort of tension does help it out. <laughs> So you can see we got our big long bar of nothing but weight blocks as a quick example. Now as you can see now that there's tension it's staying even. It is rotating a little bit because one of the blocks 
the rope isn't straight up and down because it's coming from that winch. So it's twisting a little because of that. So the, uh, so your placement of your ropes and such are going to make a difference for how straight this is going to be. And, uh, yeah, there you go. That's about the gist of it. And it tightens it up until finally it just stops. So that's the basics. Now let's take a look at the actual parts. All right, so we're in the workbench here. And like I say, said, they gave us two parts. We have the U-block pulley. And the pulley corner. As you can see, pulley, pulley corner. Pulley that changes attached rope length based on forces applied to the ropes. Draw a rope logic link between the two rope nodes to form a cable. Ropes will slide based on the difference in force applied to each rope. So like I said, adding tension will change the speed at which it works. Okay, now for the logic that is available on these blocks, we have our rope nodes. Rope one, rope two. I haven't seen any real distinction on difference between them. So I don't think there's a huge issue with that. Uh, and the other d logic I found is rope lengths. So that you can probably use that to calculate, you know, total length, the entire system and stuff like that. For whatever you need for logic of that manner. All right. Now let's try to assemble something. Okay, so I've got my winch set up. It's now in the middle of the thing. I'm going to grab a pulley block and I'm just going to put this right on top of here. Top of this anchor block, which was sorry on its own. I'm going to grab another anchor block and we're just going to snag that one right there. Simply going to take the rope logic, put it here, down to there, take this one, put it up there. And just so I can have a rope handy, we're going to put that there. All right, so as you can see, we got a simple rope pulley set up right here with just the U block. Lower this on down. I'm going to grab the rope I set up here. <laughs> and there we go. Um, took it a bit, but it did pull it up. And that right there is the most basic pulley you can make. All right, so what if I want to add that L block in there, the corner block? Say, I don't want this um, stringing down in this manner or in this manner. Well, we can grab ourselves a grab ourselves an L block or the corner pulley. we'll put it right here because as you see they have right here in this corner they have the rope connector right there so you can line these up bring them down and line that one right there now we're going to grab another L block attach it to this right here put that one right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw we're going to put that into there, this into here, and that one into there. Like, what does that show? Well, it shows you don't actually have to have a full rope going through the connection for it to work. It becomes an anchor. Shut up, goat. Anyways, 
So you can actually just go ahead and lower it down and it will use that side as an anchor. Just lower it down, as you see, it's still pulling the excess rope through. Alright, so as you can see, it kind of stopped here. So we're going to add another anchor to the other side and let it actually feed through. Well, it seems the L block, the quarter block by itself is a little awkward. <laughs> um, was not expecting that. Uh, so, yeah, the, uh, the L blocks, they seem to have a little bit different, uh, they allow you to redirect the ropes, but you still need, like, to create, it looks like you still need to create the mechanism of, with the U blocks to create that anchor and tackle setup. So, I mean, <laughs> it's what it is. I tried to get this to lift it with keeping the, uh, U blocks, or the, quarter blocks in the middle but it doesn't seem to be working the same way so keep that in mind as you build uh whatever you decide to build with these things seems the u-box are definitely or the regular pulley blocks are better at it than the corner blocks are so just run that quick demonstration again real quick And up it goes. Anyways, so that's the pulleys. Pretty straightforward. Right? Right. Okay, now let's check out... Uh, they said they added new preset vehicles. So the presets would be under here when you go to load them in. Uh, let's see. Preset Steam? Ooh, that's definitely different. Turbines. Okay, and you have examples of seeing how they're running in the back. With even piston sit-ups. <laughs> uh, preset tractor. What, is this what they give up on the uh, other one? The little blue one? Happy? Really? Eater. Okay, it looks like it's electrically powered. It's like a hybrid. Has winches on it. Has a connector. Release. Preset engines. Oh, this is new.
Yeah, it's running. Okay. This one is straight up starter. Got the small engines, uh, the one by ones. Jet engine. Large engine. Medium engine. And the small engine. Alright, so we got examples there. And with a little bit of logic on them, too. Look, they even have a, an example PID. <laughs> okay, so that should cover pretty much everything that we, uh, was part of the update. We got those pulley blocks. We went over them real quick. Uh, Gabe showed some examples, how to hook it up, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, some interesting stuff. They also added the... Uh, they uh, added those new presets with the examples of the engines and such and updated probably uh, this as well. This being the preset oil work to be compatible with the uh, gases. I'm not sure. I didn't check it out after compressed gases, so uh, it may or may not have. Anyways, so hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed your watch. If you did, you know the deal. You know the spiel. This is Arcades signing out. Have yourself a good day.